Land management is how we care for our amazing property here at Osprey Wilds. Our 780 acres serves as the learning environment for our programs. Let's take a look at some of the initiatives that we work on. Osprey Wilds is in Pine County, which not long ago was home to majestic white pine forests like these. We're lucky to still have groves of these white pines at Osprey Wilds, which date back to the 1700s. Every now and then, some get infected with white pine blister rust, a fungus that can kill white pines, but by removing infected crowns like the one in front of you and over there, we can keep the tree alive for hopefully decades longer. Minnesota has less than 1% of its native grasslands. So bringing back prairies to the landscape is an important thing we can do at Osprey Wilds. And that's exactly what we did in 2004 when we planted a native tall grass prairie into what was an old hay field, creating habitat for pollinators and grassland birds. We maintain this prairie through regular controlled burns and mowings. Where the western prairies meet the eastern forests, you find oak savanna, one of the most endangered ecosystems in North America. Over the last 10 years, Osprey Wilds has turned what was a 10-acre fallow field of non-natives into a 10-acre tall grass prairie with burr oaks, creating a young oak savanna that will mature and create habitat for grassland and savanna wildlife over time. Wetlands serve the critical role in maintaining the water health of our rivers, streams, lakes, ponds, and groundwater. Over the last century, Minnesota has lost 50% of its wetlands. Yet over the last few decades, Osprey Wilds has brought back its wetlands that were once previously lost to drainage and tiling, creating habitat for wildlife such as otters, beavers, shorebirds, and waterfowl, and improving the overall water quality of the area. Diversity is the key to resiliency in natural systems. And over the last 25 years, through multiple rounds of variable density thinning, we've turned what was a monoculture of red pines on a plantation into a mixed forest, allowing not only the red pines to stretch out their limbs and reach for the sky, but for other species to thrive and regenerate, creating a diverse understory and subcanopy that's well positioned for the future. In our beautiful mixed hardwood forest, which is dominated by old growth sugar maples that we tap for maple syruping in the spring, we're continuously monitoring to keep this forest healthy. One of the ways we do that is by identifying and removing invasive species such as garlic mustard and buckthorn, which allows our forest to stay healthy and for native species to thrive coming up. The most important thing we can do to ensure the health of this landscape going forward is to make sure that it never gets developed and it remains in its natural state always. And that's exactly what we did in 2021 when we partnered with the Minnesota Land Trust to put into place a conservation easement on 460 acres of our property, making sure that this land will be protected forever.